Welcome everyone, make yourself comfortable. For the next couple of minutes, we'll embark on a journey to the core. Thank you for joining me. This time, we're going to leverage a Sergey's beautiful assertions. The first thing we are going to do is to introduce a Sergey dependency into our project. This is a test dependency. Now let's go to our tests and we are going to replace the unit assertions with assertjs. Assert all we will replace by assert softly. The extracting method allows us to assert data that is related to the original asserted object. And we use contain only to verify that collection of names. And this is the equivalent of JUnit assertions for the first method. And we validate that everything works as before. This is the way assertJs help us to assert that a block of code throws an exception. There are specialized methods like this one for a legal argument exception, but there is a generic one as well. As you can see, we can assert the exception message in the same method chain. The assert that method is the main entry point of the assertJ API. Here we get the products for the inventory. We are using a recursive comparison in order to do a deep equals between the actual products and the expected ones. I made all the tests fail in order for you to look at the difference between the unit 5 failure messages and assert JSTs. In general, assert JS failure messages are easier to understand and more information rich. You can pause the video if you wish, but the idea is for you to have a general view of the difference. For more details, you can run the code and make the test fail. And now for the extra bits. Instead of using the assert softly method, we can inject a soft assertion instance with the help of JUnify. We just have to declare the use of the soft assertions extension and receive that as a method parameter. Assert J has a very rich API. For strings, for example, we have a very wide range of methods for verifying information inside them. The same things for collections. Here we are using extracting an all match method from Assert J instead of using the Java string API. And finally, here we can see how to assert that a block of code doesn't throw an exception. Now it's your turn. Download the code for the link at the description. Experiment with J. Remember to share your experience in the comments and, as always, have fun! Thank you for joining me on my journey to the core. See you soon.